Sneaky Linux back again today. Today we have Papi Linux Slicko 5334G, I think this one is. Come out about last week, I think. I can't remember exactly. I've had it on my other computer for a little while and I just brought it over. So, anyway, latest Papi Linux based on Slacky or Slackware for you and me. That's what they were like. Right, it is not for older, older hardware, okay? Before we go for any further, racy and weary racy is for that weary, especially for old hardware. But Slacko is for new stuff, okay? But when it's got new stuff, it runs super duper. Oh yeah. As you can see, got a nice new thing. Some nice little icons have come out again. They're a bit different, aren't they? So of course got file, help, install, edit, console, play, draw, paint, calc, write, browse, email, chat, plan, connect, setup, and slick pet. Yeah, yeah, slick pet, where you get some popular, popular programs. Okay. So anyway, write will be Abbey Word, of course. You can get LibreOffice, by the way, if you really want to, but hey. Don't really need it with Papi Linux, really, really think about it. Now, Abbey Word is now at version 291, so it's not 292, but we've gone up one, so that's pretty good. You may need to add on some extras, so it's like a dictionary and all that, but I don't know if I've actually checked it out too much, because I've been quite busy so far, and the children have gone back to school. So we've got 291 for that. G numeric will be as is, so I'll open them up and let you have a quick look. So it's nice and quick, sprightly, I like it very much. So I'll quickly open it up. Genie Merck is one of those programs that like just keeps on going, going on and on and on and just gets better. It does what it says on the tin tin, okay? And that's what you want, isn't it, really? Paint is just basic GM, GNU paint. And we've got a draw program as well. Play is da -da 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 -da. Gnome M player. No Xene. Do you remember Xene? I used to like Xene back in the day. Anyway, your standard browser of choice here is Simon Kai. Yes, monkey. Latest versions, that's super duper. That's the Slacko kicking off page, by the way, while I'm clicking away here. So, anyway, what was I doing? I don't know, really. Anyway, this is your browser. Bit of a curve. Just check out the BBC page. You may need to put some new fonts in as well. Some people won't like the fonts it comes up with, but that's entirely up to you. Comes up all right, doesn't it, really? Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going back to the tube, right? Back to the tube, and we're going to go into UTube. Use it up here, here, and here. We'll click there. That might fit nice and quick, wasn't it? Archer Hero Part 1. My kid loves that. I don't know why. Anyway, yes, so it comes up all nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for me and we'll quickly play a vidvo. And I should come up top of the tree. That's near I am. Okay, we'll go to here to me. La 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 Oh, there's the most recent one I've just done not too long ago, about ooh, 54 minutes ago it says. So we click play, make sure it plays all nice for you. And here we go. It always does that, I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. I've even put the Mesa driver in as well, and it still does it. Still does, yeah, see what I mean? It does that. It's getting better. Yeah, never mind. Okay. It's got the new Flash in it. Maybe I should change to an older version of Flash. That might do it for me, I think. Don't you think so? Yeah, of course you do. Not very good, though, that bit, is it? So, yeah, you may have to change back to an older version of Flash if it doesn't want to work properly for you. But don't worry a bit too much about it. You will be able to get it fixed, okay? Remember, I'm recording at the same time as well, so don't worry about that too much. So, yeah, it all works hunkily dorily. Yeah, lovely, super duper. Let's get rid of him. Bye bye. Yes, anyway, email. Well, I'll open it up so you can see what it is, but I'm not going to access it at all, am I? But it all comes under C Monkey. Yeah, yeah, exit. All part of the C Monkey suite, which is rather nice, all in one. For chat, you should have X chat. Oh yes. I don't want to no, you can go I don't want to, don't want to do that. Bye, go away. Oh dear. Anyway, X chat's got. You've got your planner, which will be Osmo. Oh lovely. Good old Osmo. Does what he says on the tin, so that's super for me. Super duper. There's connect, and there's your slick pet, and there's your setup. So we're gonna to go to slick pet, open him up and see what's in there. Now I've already installed the Gimpy. It's not the latest GIMP 2.8, it's a 2.7 series, that's the, the furthest pet they've got basically. We also get PSIP for your puppy phone. So should we install that while we're here? Yeah, got it. So we'll just click there. It says, please wait. This is how you install stuff from a quick pet or slick pet. Used to be called quick pet, didn't it? Remember, back in the day. So wait for it to download. It will then install itself and you have a PSIP internet phone, which will get more popular and popular as time goes on. We click OK. Been successfully installed. Oakley dokely. It updates our help page and our menu. Just wait a bit longer. A bit longer, a bit longer, a bit longer. No, I'm not going to wait anymore. Anyway, it does that. Anyway, Osmo's still open, so I'll close Osmo while we're waiting. 
packaging. Don't forget you've got the puppy package manager as well here, which I'm going to open as soon as this is finished, doing what it wants to do. If you've got Ethernet, it will connect automatically. Obviously, if you're using wireless, it should connect to most wireless dongles or stuff like that or inbuilt cards. But if it doesn't, you may have to go and get the driver for it yourself, okay? Don't worry about it too much, though. All should be able to get done. If we go to install, remember I've installed this. Oh, yes, I have. If we go down to the Puppy Package Manager, you can see what other stuff you can install that's not actually in Slick Pet, all right? Now, this happens with all the latest puppies. It's quite slow in coming up, okay? But apart from that, it's all right. So I'll make it a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. As you can see, if we go to our desktop, it's all your desktop stuff. Da -da 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 -da. There we go, some drivers. Down here, some language packs. LibreOffice integration and stuff like that. If we go to, shall we say, multimedia, which is my favorite section. Get Aqualung here, I don't mind Aqualung, it's quite good actually. Audacity, Dead Beef is all in here, so that's all hunkily dory. GXZ, I was just talking about that one. Record my desktop is here. It does work, yes, it does work. No worries. So, what I'm going to do, oh, don't forget, install WFMPEG sound support for older machines if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Ogle is also here for watching DVDs if you want a smaller one that just doesn't take, make such a big footprint, that's good for you. So, should we install Audacity? Well, yeah, let's do it. It's only 13.14, but hey. It does what it says on the tin at the end of the day, doesn't it? Yes. Where shall I download it from? Oh, not hungry. I'll download it from the Netherlands. Okay. Download packages. Hopefully they're all there. And we're going to zoom along with my nice internet connection. And it will take a bit longer to install as it normally does. So that's okay. We can click there. It waits and updates the help page and the menu. Bloody, 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 blah. Bloody, bloody, blah. I'm going to go to the other, menu, other page while we're doing that. Right. While it's doing that, it's the usual puppy menu, although there are some extra stuff in here, okay? So this is all the usual stuff and change wallpapers and stuff like that. You can go to system, CPU frequency scaling, especially handy if you've got a lappy of the toppy, okay? Go to hate stop and check some stuff out. As you can see, it's still installing stuff. That's why we're using loads. It's checking audacity for missing shared lab eyes. Won't take too long. But on the whole, because it's for newer hardware, it won't be so, uh, shall we say, nice to your CPU. It uses quite a bit more. I will say quite a bit. It doesn't really. It all depends on what CPU you've got. Of course, there's a dual core here. So, yeah. Anyway, we wait and we wait and we wait. We wait and we wait and we wait. We could be here all day, couldn't we? Well, while we're waiting, we'll let the menu up again anyway. Also, you've got all your setup stuff. Usual puppy stuff. Don't forget you've got Grub for DOS here. And all the other stuff, and you can redo that. Okay, and utilities, you've got an icon browser. That was a new one. That's quite good. Other stuff is all usual puppy. Snapshots, take and make a backup and take a backup even. File system, it's rocks, of course. So, yeah, we like it. A graphical usage manager. Yeah, it's all there. No missing dependency, so I'll get rid of that. We'll go back to menu in a second. As you can see, once that's done, your CPU all settles down. All nice and unky dory So if you do your frequency scaling, that should be all good for you. All right. Only 52 megs of RAM as well, it's using. That's nice. Anyway, back to our menu, which you can also access another way. I'll show you that in a second. Under graphics, as you can see, I've installed Gimpy. Lovely jubbly. But you also get PC scan for your scanning. Pup camera, digital camera access for your piggies and photos and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Documents, of course, it's Abbey Word we've just seen. You get Genie and Leafpad. It's really, really quick, as you can see. So you have to be careful with your mouse. Leafpad, you've got an MP console. And lots of other stuff here. Jubbly. Business, of course, Genie Merrick, I've shown you that already, but you also get Home Bank, so that's all right. Personal, Bcrypt, I love Bcrypt, one of my faves, so that's okay. Network tools, so you can check your firewall out, so I've already done mine because it's installed, so my firewall's done, and all that, so that's all right. Under Internet, okay, you get get to Flash install Flash Player, okay? You need to do this before you do anything else or try to watch any videos, and it'll download and install in a matter of no time. You've also got Amiibo in here, and Amiibo's not one of my favourites, really. I don't even know why it's in there, but hey, I'm only the messenger. Don't shoot me. There's your Sea Monkey Suite is also here, and Transmission. It's all there for your stuff in your torrents, if you do that sort of thing. Personally, I don't. There's Audacity that I've just installed. A CD player and Ripper, which is P Music. I prefer Asunder, personally, but hey, he takes your choices and pays your pennies. You know what I mean? Double F Convert, one of the best out there on the market. I love it. Super duper. Lovely. P Music players down here as well. We also get an equaliser and pup radio and pup telly and stuff like that. 
and burn to CD burn ISO stuff. Okay, MP burn, which is supposed to be able to pl do Blu-ray as well, but you know, as I haven't got one, don't matter to me, does it? And you get a couple of games as well. Now, on the whole, while I've been using it, which is for a little while, I've had no problems with it, and it's really, really quite sprightly to use. So, I would say, yeah, go on, go download it. It's really nice. I like it. Before we go, though, we're going to go to multimedia. We're going to open Audacity up, just in case. There we go. It do the workings for us. Lovely. I'm liking. And I'll open Gimpy up as well, just before I go, just to show you how easy it is. And it's only the 2.7 version, remember? There we go. Loads nice and quick. Look. And we have Gimpitch. I like him, my Gimpitch. Mm. So, yeah. Slacko, 533. Super of the Duper. Yes. 94. Got to be sneaky of the Linux going out. I'll see you later. Thank you.